Good afternoon, friends and comrades. I wanted to clarify my position in regards to Cornel West and his presidential campaign with the Green Party. When Cornel West first announced with the People's Party, I was very vocal and critical of him on Twitter. I thought it was a strategic mistake for him to run with the People's Party uh, under the failed leadership of Nick Brana. However, when he did the right thing and changed course and realized the gravity of staying with the People's Party and instead joined up with the Green Party, which is much better strategically, has a lot more ballot access, then I got behind Cornel West reluctantly. So even when I found out that he was going to join with the Greens, I thought, well, has he completely severed ties with the People's Party? It's my belief that he has at this point. There's still talk that some people that are former People's Party or may still have links with the People's Party are part of his campaign. When it comes to presidential campaigns, including in third parties, it's hard to completely disassociate. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to clarify my position because there's still people on Twitter that are reluctant to support Colonel West and explain why I, I do support him now. Um, I met Colonel West 10 years ago at the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington. Um, and he is such a gentleman. Something you often hear, and I can tell you this is true firsthand, he could be in an airport, he could be leaving an event. Uh, whoever asks to take a picture with him, he will. He's very graceful. He's very full of energy, full of love. And I think he's doing what he believes is the best thing he can. Um, and I think that he's even more vocally anti-imperialist than Jill Stein was. And I supported Jill Stein both times that she ran. Uh, but, you know, when they ask Cornel West now, even in the mainstream media, now that he's running, uh, why he's running for president, he says to dismantle the empire. So I feel obligated as an anti-imperialist, as a fellow person of color here within the U.S. empire to support Cornel West. And I even hope to eventually host an event for Cornel West if he comes here to North Florida. Uh, the Greens... Are, uh, you know, I think are, are a good option. I've had issues with them in the past. I didn't like Howie Hawkins. Uh, I did. I did like Jill Stein. Of course, I love Sherry Honkel. She's a comrade. She was the first vice presidential candidate of Jill Stein. Ajama Baraka, her second, also a great man, also supporting Cornel West at this point. Um, and so look at the alternatives. Look at the Libertarian Party and their recent racist attacks against Nina Turner. Not the biggest Nina Turner fan because she's associated with TYT, but again, the Libertarian Party, which is under control of racists now, who hosted that event back in February, I went to the March one in, in D.C. Uh, you know, the Libertarian Party is the only other term besides the, the Green Party that has, uh, you know, equivalent uh, ballot access. I believe uh, 38 states is probably going to be more. Uh, there's ballot access uh, for Greens. Uh, so who could who could support the Libertarian Party and their and their extreme right policies, their policies against social programs, their their racist and classist policies? Really, the only option is the Green Party if you want to get involved in electoralism. Movement building is important, but at this point, I think it's important to back Cornel West, Dr. Cornel West and his campaign. So hopefully this clarifies things and people are free to ask me questions on Twitter once I post this video. Thank you, friends and comrades.